Hey, good morning, guys. We're here at Harvard Park in South LA, and I have Jen with me. Hi, you too. <laughs> uh, American Heart Association is throwing an event called the Community Steps Program, and what it is is the community meets LAPD, and uh, this is good because it builds rapport. It helps uh, bridge the connection for the two. I guess they just remodeled um, Harvard Park not too long ago, so it's a really nice uh, looking park and then trying to get people to come out. Yeah, um, they're setting up at this moment, but instead of walking around, we are gonna be doing some biking. There's a nice overcast today. My favorite kind of weather, gloomy. This is the first time here, so let's check it out. This is pretty cool. This is a pretty cool park. It has a, a racing lane, and it, it has a a clock that clocks you, so you can race against each other, and it gives you your time. So me and Jen are gonna race right now. <laughs> she's tying her shoes. I guess she's gonna take this seriously. Let me I just stretch out real you quick. You prevent some injuries. Yeah, stretch out. Jen by point one five seconds. <laughs> I gave it to him. She says uh, she's not wearing her running shoes. They're they're also the wrong size. <laughs> Big shoes. <laughs> Good morning, just real excited to be here. Um, this is a special day. You know, we typically walk around the park on Saturday mornings, but today we decided to put away our walking shoes and ride bikes. And so you'll see we've got different bicycle clubs and people as we're getting ready to set up and it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna ride around the perimeter. And it's another way that we're creating this space for exercise and dialogue. And so it's just great to be here uh, on behalf of the Heart Association and seeing all the good work that's happening for Community Steps. Velcro. I love the sound of Velcro. Yeah. Oh, there. Now it's official. We're helping the community out. Community service. Community steps. We got a video. Walking towards the community. You guys need help. Look for the people with the neon vest. Uh, I have Marcus here. Uh, he's been working with the Community Steps program for since the beginning. Yeah, yeah right. since it kicked off three hours in a day. Yes. And Marcus, I know you have a, a story to tell uh, uh -huh. how uh, you're appreciative of like public health screenings and stuff like that mm -hmm. because you yourself had a high blood pressure. It's correct, it's correct. And how did that happen? Well, pretty much, um, I think it was after the opening day, the, the next Saturday we had followed up. Just thinking, you know what? I never really had an issue with my uh, high blood pressure or anything like that because I've been an athlete like all my life. But I also knew that I would like have headaches sometimes. So I was like, let me just see. So I checked it and sure enough, like my blood pressure was extremely high. Oh, wow. So I talked with the nurse. She gave me some uh, some tips. Talk, talk to me about considering like lifestyle changes and mm -hmm. you know cut off the foods with like high sodium and things Salt. like that. Salt Salt start to drink more water. water. So how's it? How's your? Now it's a lot better. Um, I implemented that lifestyle change. Uh, cut off the fried foods. Cut back on uh, the fast foods and French fries are something that I really like. So I have to stop that. I will get them occasionally, but how I alter that is that I just happen to just make them with no salt. Uh, but since I did that, and, like my workout style, like I would do like maybe two days from a week, mm -hmm. but I increased it to four. And since I did that, I mean, I don't have the headaches anymore. I noticed that I had a weight loss and I just I just feel better. Just from putting on salt? Just cutting out salt and I used to like drink sodas as well. So it's uh, just a lot, a lot of water that I like to just drink and have that more intake like in my body. But since that happened, I mean, I've lost weight and the headaches are going away and my um, blood pressure is still a comfortable level. Okay, no, yes. right. Look at it like if it wasn't for the STEPS program and the American Heart Association, I mean, it could have been a bad situation. Right. I could have just been out on patrol or out, out here, you know, just interacting with the community and I could have maybe passed out or something. Mm -hmm. It's a silent killer. Yeah, that's definitely. what I found out. So even yeah. if you're not sure, just go double check it. Go. Yeah, know your numbers. That's key. That's really key. That's yeah, cool. Thank you very much. No problem. Hey Jen. Yeah. Hey Larry. How's your, how's your blood pressure? 
<laughs> That's some personal information. I'm just gonna put you on the spot right there. <laughs> um, it's normal. Last time I had a nurse friend check on me. I was it Pear Bear? Yeah, it was Pear. And get get checked, you know? Get your health checked, your annual health check. All right, my name is Austin Dumas. I'm the park director at Jackie Tatum Harvard Recreation Center. Uh, it's a beautiful day. We're out here with community steps. We're walking in the community, getting healthy. Uh, today we're doing something a little bit different. We're doing the community bike ride. Uh, we're going to ride around uh, the perimeter of the park and uh, have a good fun time with the community. Thank you. Hey everyone, we have Henry. Yes, sir. Uh, and he has his he has a bike with us. Are you gonna? Oh yeah. This is my bike club called South LA Real Riders. The Rider Bike Club. And we, we are part of every event, all kinds of health awareness, cancer. Uh, we involved in a whole lot of different things. So yeah, we're here to support. This kind of, what is this, uh, heart awareness program? Yeah, we're here for that. Tell us about your bike. Okay, this is this is my bike. I named it Uwee. Uwee? Yeah. That's the name of it. Uwee and, you know, it's a, it's a dyno. It's a, it's a McCarty dyno and everything. And everything is custom work through many lowrider custom bike shows. I am with the Ride on Bike Shop and Co-op in Lamar Park, and um, we're a bicycle shop. We repair, full service, repair, sell, and uh, rent bicycles. And I'm also an advocate for safer streets and better infrastructure in the streets of LA. So I do a lot of community organizing and um, work around that. I like that. So, like, it's not even like a lot of the businesses here aren't just about business. It's community based. No, it's, it, yeah, it's, and it's about life. You know, it's like we're getting killed out here. You know, if you're on a bike, if you're a pedestrian, you know, so the infrastructures of the streets need to improve. Um, so we need to work to make that better. You know, it's going to start from the bottom up. You know, so we got to organize the folks on the streets and, you know, exercise our rights to be in the streets and to be safe. You know? I haven't, I haven't rolled my bike in about like five years. I just took it out of the garage right now. It's a nice opportunity. Yeah. Lovely day for a ride. Yeah. Oh, I should have stretched first. <laughs> all right, so do you guys come here all the time to the uh, committee steps thing? Yeah. Yeah? Really? Yeah. Is this your first time here? No. Okay. How do you guys like it? Good. 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 Let's talk about it. Tell me about it. <laughs> uh, well, the last time I came, they had little challenges for us. Uh, we had to go to each tent so that they could um, fill out a little paper for us. Um, they also had activities like jumpers, uh, basketball, fun to do, and a game show. What? It's fun to ride to fun, yeah. my bike. <laughs> It's pretty fun. We uh, ride bikes in uh, big groups like this and have uh, the, the community just together.
happening now. What happened to them? That's so fun. We should have this in every neighborhood, every sec two, two times a month. Two Saturdays, is it? Wow. Do you want to get right? How's your heart rate? I'm at 102 right now. We're not riding that hard, but it's so fun. Yeah. We should have this in every city. Every city should be doing this. Yeah. Woo. Green. Did you see what they had over there? What? Food. Oh really? Let's go check it it's out. Like, it's like boxes of Subway. No way. Yeah. I'm so hungry right I now. Wish I was not. <laughs> okay, Jen, you gotta give us a little ride. All right. She did it. My name is JR and um, we're here with Aware for All. We're promoting our event on May 19th at USC. It's a free health expo for the community. So they're gonna be having free food there and free health screenings for folks. Again, it's pretty much a museum. Museum? In a truck. Yeah, a traveling museum. Sisterhood of the Traveling Museum. <laughs> Okay, I think it's a museum for the clinical studies that there. Clinical what? Clinical studies. So like when you have a medication, um, they have to run through clinical trials. Can I spin the wheel? Alright. Alright, go ahead. No. iPad? No. Oh, you get both. Yeah. <laughs> This, so this is the hand sanitizer? Yeah. It's like, it's like spray. Oh! Yeah. Oh, yeah. nice! What? What? Take a pen too. There you go. Head? What is what? <laughs> Come on, hand sanitizer! Yeah. It's like the, the best prize. Oh! oh what is got it! <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. What do you think? I'm gonna use it right now. healthy, fun places to ride a bike. Um, of course, we know that transportation is connected to a lot of different resources, right? It's how people get to work, to school, to the store, to their friends' houses, to family's houses, to church, right? So, um, if an area lacks infrastructure for people to be able to transport themselves, then it means that they won't have access to a lot of the opportunities that they need just to be a surviving, thriving human in the 21st century. Uh, we do fun bike rides. We have a river ride coming up on June 3rd. It's like a huge event that starts in Griffith Park and people can choose to ride along the entire Los Angeles River. Join us. Check us out on the web at la-bike.org. Labike.org. So uh, you guys know the reputation of this neighborhood. We had quite a few murders right in this park, in this area. Uh, maybe a couple of uh, blocks over that way, one actually in the park. Uh, and it was escalating. The councilman and city hall LAPD decided that they wanted to do something about it. So it was really bad. And so we now have CSP Harbor Park, which is community safety partnership with LAPD, community members, LA, uh, the American Heart Association has stepped in. And we began walking every second and fourth Saturdays with LAPD just to get to know them on a personal level and for them to get to know us. Uh, 
one thing that I have noticed, and I think this is the best part, the children that come to this park adore the officers. You can just see it. And so what that means is you're building relationships long term. Because they won't be afraid. They'll have that connection with the police. And so I think that that whole stigma of our kids being afraid of police goes away. Dag riders bicycle shop. Uh, we repair bikes, we sell bikes, we restore old bikes. Uh, we have neighborhood bike rides. So we'll ride from the shop up to a, a few different parks and uh, have the kids ride with us. We'll put on our vests and uh, protect the kids as we cross the street. Uh, I encourage the kids to do good in school. Uh, show me their report cards and I'll give them a bike. Uh, we just try to, you know, uh, enhance what we're doing in the neighborhood, be a blessing to the neighborhood, try to stay in decent shape, try to eat healthy. Um, a lot of times after the ride, we'll have juice, water. <laughs> this is my son, Darius, and I'm Daryl. <laughs> and uh, what we do, instead of giving kids sodas and cookies and chips, what we do is we'll go get a platter of fruits and vegetables and uh, and uh, we'll, we'll have uh, juice and water rather than the soda. So that's what we're doing. So it's not just a business, your community out like outreach to yes. help everyone. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's really nice. Yeah, we're trying to assist uh, in the neighborhood. Just show them that you can come out and have a good time right here in the neighborhood. So apparently I got my wheels on backwards. All right, thank you guys very much. Oh, yeah. Here to the dance floor, and you got a battle, and the crowd gonna be the judge of who wins the skateboard. Yes. The number is six three nine zero four zero three versus six three nine zero three ninety six. Oh. You guys ready for this battle? Somebody say, Oh yeah. Give it up for both of our time, you guys.